James Kaufman will news report today, January 1st, 2025. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we got hit, but not real hard, by coronal mass ejection around 1600 UTC time. That'd be about noon yesterday on the 31st, New Year's Eve. Now, these are our KP indexes. We see that we had a geomagnetic well, storm, actually, yesterday on our Boulder Index for three hours. And again, we followed up and had a three-hour geomagnetic storm today. The same thing happened, but with, well, less intensity on our Fredericksburg indexes. And we're moving down to our estimated planetary index. We actually have 12 hours of a geomagnetic disturbance followed by the last three hours of a geomagnetic storm. That's where we're at right now. Now we also have our college index and that's been on and off. But for the most part, it's following the same pattern as all the other KP indexes. Looks like two impacts. All right, it looked like this might be our first impact. It's a geomagnetic disturbance, not a storm. We did get a geomagnetic storm here in the last three hours uh, from three to six. And that's going to be, again, from, let's see, um, at 10 to 1 p.m., we just had our first geomagnetic storm, i.e. the last three hours per our estimated planetary KP index, the upgraded index used by NASA and NOAA. Headed over to our Discover satellite for that impact around 1500. We definitely see that one. Looks like plasma went from about three centimeters cubed up to about 20 centimeters cubed. Predictions went up to about 40, 50 two days ago, 40 yesterday. Our shields stayed down. We need to pop those boys back up into the blue. So I was looking for another hit. And of course, I see solar winds going up to 551 right here. Temperature falling off, plasma falling off. Uh, so I'll look back three hours from here. The only other possibility here I can see is this very short term situation here. I just don't know what to say about it. The temperatures do follow it. If you can see those two temperature. Uh, and they have some very strong plasma but for such a short time i think we got a 40 but there's definitely a 33 in there so 36.19 so the winds right at 500. it's going to be our second really cme we're expecting dual cmes today so that's our second hit right there and it looks like uh we have solar winds hitting plasma's falling off and so it's temperatures uh, as regularly, temperature always follows plasma. So that was a very good call, except for they said that it would be twice as strong, or at least stronger than it actually was. How did they do on solar winds? They did pretty good on solar winds as well. I remember their forecast from about 275, 300 up to about 500. So they didn't do too, too bad at all. Please get some Aurora Borealis or Aurora Australis pictures and send them into World News Report today at gmail.com. Uh, there's two T's in that, report today at gmail.com. And I'd be happy to show your pictures off for you. So it looks like Noah actually covered the first impact here. I did show it to y'all right around 1600 UTC time. So um, 
No big deal. It's going to be about 10 a.m. this morning. I'll tell you wrong. So our second hit has just been the last three hours. And we'll see if there's more. I believe there's more incoming chrome mass ejections. Headed over to NASA's Isla Goodard Spiral. That impact today. Earth is that little yellow dot right there. Everything else is a satellite. All the squares and got some planets. We have Mercury in play, the satellite under it. We also will have Venus in play here and Mars in play back behind us. Remember, Mars being behind us like that. Line it up with the moon right here. We should have seen an uptick in earthquake activity and volcanic activity. We have seen a slight one, but I'm looking for more. That said, God bless, share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in the bizarro world.